Body awareness is extremely significant. Um, John explained this to a group last week. You know the karate kid yeah. where he... Wax on, Mr. Wax off. Yeah, wax on, wax off. <laughs> and it didn't appear to him to have any connection with karate until one day he realized, oh, this is really a really useful habit. And mindfulness of the body is very similar in that as you cultivate mindfulness of the body, it's a little bit wax on, wax off. And you're wondering, how's this ever going to help me? And so the story... Shane, one of my first mentors, he drove an old Rolls Royce and one day someone cut in front of him in the traffic, his mother, his elderly mother was in the car and he, he leant out and a few choice words and signs and he came back in and his mother said, Shane, you're a complete embarrassment to me, take me home. And uh, he said, why? And she said, did you not notice your behavior, how terrible it is? And he said at that point he hadn't actually seen his own behavior, it's very normal for us. You know, someone might say, do you know you use that word basically a lot or actually a lot? And you go, really? So a lot of our behavior is unconscious. At that point, he decided he needs to work on his mindfulness. And he, he talks about the, the journey in the body because usually what we, we have a four-stage way of explaining it. So the next time, it was messier than this, but this is a neat example of saying, he was out the window screaming, came back, and he said, as the window sealed, he went, oh, I've done it again. Have you all had that experience where you wish you could rewind time by about 10 seconds? Your awareness has failed you at that point and your habituations kicked okay. you on. He then talked about opening it and feeling the breeze in his face. Now he's, all, he's starting to wake up. He's like, whoa, what am I doing? He then talked about, and the, the, the key moment was when the car cut in front of the traffic and he noticed the itch in his fingers, in his hand, to go for the window. And in being awake to the itch, as in, mindful, awake to the itch, not lost in the impulse, is the moment of true choice. It's also the moment of regulation. And some would say it's the regret-free life. Because mm. now we're actually able to interrupt old patterns. But until we have that awareness, it's, tr it's a hit and miss. And self-regulation is, if, if, if your self-awareness is not self-regulating, it's kind of a waste of time. Mm.